Chippy here from ultrabooknews.com and this is a video to accompany an article on ultrabooknews.com about how to replace the battery on the Samsung Series 5 MP530UB. Now obviously I've made some progress here already because uh, I didn't want to, to film every part of it. What I've done is um, taken the rear panel off, taken the disc out, and you have to do that first, four screws and then flip the little connector up there and take that away and then take all the screws out from around including one, two, those come out with the hard drive, three, four important ones here, okay? Those two are important, don't forget them. And then you have to work it round, it's really sharp. This is metal and it's razor sharp. Be really, really careful if you're going to use your fingers. I did, uh, I did it actually for the first time last week and I actually cut inside my nail, it was bloody painful. Um, this time is obviously a bit easier, second time round. Anyway, so here we are. This battery on here is absolutely shot. It's, there's nothing in it at all. It's the original Samsung battery. So what I've done is I've ordered uh, online a Chinese copy. It did actually say it was going to be a Samsung original, but it's not. It doesn't surprise me because it was only about 60, uh, 65 euros. A Samsung original can go up to over 200 euros uh, in cost. Um, so let's see, if this does uh, give us a year of uh, capacity or, or maybe two, it will be better than this one because I think this one was a faulty part. It died within about 18 months and because I'd already taken the back off and already done some, some mucking around with this device, I couldn't really send it in for a replacement. Right, so things to do now is just take those uh, bits of paper off there because you'll need to um, take the cables away. Now this down here is the connector for the battery. But before you disconnect it, you need to undo the screws for the battery. It's a well sealed in plastic unit here. And uh, we'll just, I think there's five screws, the three at the bottom. Well, there's the two at the top here, which we've already taken out because they were part of the hard drive. And we'll just take those. And that's four additional ones. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to, uh, this is actually quite hard, I've done it before and this, I've actually damaged the connector a little bit by trying to, I mean, you, there's one way of doing it obviously, just, just pull those bits of cable that are rooted on the back of the battery away, alright? Now, very carefully I suppose you could just sort of wiggle it like that. Be really careful, I mean if it's the old battery it doesn't matter if it's shot, but you might break that bit. Now, getting the new one in is obviously reverse of taking it out and let's um, let's see if we've got exactly the same fit here hmm um, oh sorry turn it around the right way and it might help so obviously there's one connector missing sorry get that in connector missing there on this one everything else looks right I mean one connector missing is not going to be too much of a problem there's the old one, this is the new one. So, let's see what we can do. We're just gonna locate that and then make sure that's really in there nice and tightly. This one seems to be an easier fit than the last one. Now then, you wanna make sure these cables are routed correctly. They go over the top on this part of it and then underneath around the side. So make sure they are routed correctly the bits that are underneath you want to make sure are correct first. This is your Wi-Fi antenna cables, so be careful. It's looking okay, everything's lining up okay, and good. Looks like I can screw that down now. Just want to make sure everything's looking good before we screw that down, and then we'll take our four screws good it seems to fit that's the main worry of course with these pattern parts you know i remember buying pattern parts for cars years ago and nothing would ever fit properly and it was more frustrating and time consuming than it was worth in terms of uh, uh saving money so we've got one screw obviously left over that's this one here that doesn't uh, doesn't uh, exist on the pattern part so I just want to make sure I get this rooted in here correctly. Both should root into that channel 
there. Now when that's once that's rooted, it's a little bit difficult. So that's rooted, just stick that sticker back on there. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's not that critical that the sticker's there. Just make sure the Wi-Fi connectors are there. And just stick that down back down there. Of course, if you've got that insulated tape there that you can use fresh, please use that. Otherwise, try and keep the old one sticky so that you can use it again. Right. Um, so, the next thing to go back on. Well, we really should test it first, I suppose. I'm not sure if there's going to be any charging, but I'm going to put the back on first. It goes on like this. So this side first, push it in. Be really careful of that power plug there, right? Make sure that that's all located nicely there. And just work it from left to right. And clip it all the way back in. Now, it probably won't clip all the way back until you've got all the screws there. But I'm just going to do my best here. Just, this is difficult on this side. There we go. Around the front, there's a couple of. Hopefully that, hopefully that will go in when we. Ah, oh, there you go. You don't want to do this too many times, really, because these cases, they're just not built to be taken apart and put back together again multiple times so you're going to have problems. Now getting the hard drive back in is a little bit uh, tricky just to make sure that, that cable is in there. Now, let me just zoom in there because this is a, an important bit. You see the line on the connector here and there's a white line. Let's just get that in focus for you. Come on focus focus. Right, you need to put it into this connector all the way up to that line so make sure that little thing is flipped up, the little thing. It goes nearly all the way. It doesn't go all the way actually. Once it's connected down again, you've got a little bit of space there. Can I zoom right in on that one? There's a little bit of space there, but make sure this part is pushed down there. And then we can actually put a couple of the uh, screws in. They're all six mil screws in this part of the device, not the what look like two mil screws for the rest of the device or four. I'm just going to put a couple of them in here. Oops. And that's uh, sometimes help if you put a bit of blue tack on the end of your on the end of your screwdriver. A bit of blue tack there, you can pick them up and hold them. Right. That's all I'm going to do for the time being. I'm going to flip this over. I've got a plastic uh, mat underneath, so not, no worries about, you know, don't do it on a metal table. So, moment of truth here. I'm going to push that button, see if it comes on. Now, they should be delivered with charge. Yes! Excellent, because with the old battery, nothing was happening at all. It wasn't even charging, it wasn't doing anything. So I'm glad it's the battery that was, was broken and not the charging system itself. I'm gonna switch that off. And now I'm sure that that's working. I'll seal it all up and uh, give it a good charge. So that's the Samsung Series 5 MP530. I think this is the UB4. It's a hard drive version. While well, we've got it open, there's the hard drive. You can change that with a um, two and a half inch uh, SSD, seven millimeter high. You can actually put an extra four gig into this spare DDR slot here. That's about it. But it's nice, um, nice to have that sort of capability on the Samsung. Um, this is now two years old. This Samsung has been used really every day by my, my wife as the main PC and it's really lasted well. It's been bashed around. Okay, the battery has not lasted, but uh, apart from that, everything's working really nicely on it and the keyboard, of course, is, is quite good on this one. That's it. The full article for this, including some pictures and some text, it will be up on umcportal.com. My name's Chippy, at Chippy on Twitter. Um, please don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe, and uh, you'll get notifications of all the new videos as they go up.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on the next one.